Hi everyone, um, sorry I didn't upload last night, but there's a reason behind that which will come clear in tomorrow's video because I'm going to do a video tomorrow um, instead of a live stream because the husband's off work so I won't really have time at 11 o'clock at night to do it because we'll be asleep or we'll be going to sleep so um, this video is to talk about the conclusion of the Jake Paul series with Shane Dawson and I enjoyed it um, it did show a different side to Jake than we've ever seen before because we've always seen the hyper Jake the Jake that does all the stupid pranks the Jake that's literally he's he, it's like he's on you know like he's constantly you know he, there's there's no chill with him in the videos but we actually got to see a slightly chilled version in Shane's videos where there wasn't the constant doing of pranks and constant hypeness and the constant pushing of merch which I actually quite liked um they did talk a lot about the whole thing that happened with Lisa, Logan and Jake and how it's affected Jake and how it took him a while to forgive his brother which I can sort of understand um and that they also discussed the whole thing about Jake's father living with Jake and working with both Jake and Logan and from what was said in the video um, Jake has actually asked him A to move out and B the, he's going to try and put some separation between Jake and himself, uh, his dad and himself uh, bear in mind that a lot of this was filmed like two months ago so I can sort of understand that Jake's getting to the point where he's realising living with his dad, working with his dad and his dad constantly trying to do things he's not just hurting his friendships but it would hurt the business eventually because Shane told him about the story that happened with him and his mum that they had issues because they were working together but once they stopped working together everything was fine, everything was great and sometimes you have to say to him look I need to separate family from business and it does work eventually they also discussed everything that happened with um, Alyssa and Faze and um, the, his former assistant accusing Faze Banks of attacking her now they admit that she was attacked um, they agree Jake says she was attacked he said that wasn't fake it was no makeup to create the bruise or anything like that that was real however we don't know for certain that she's telling the truth that it was face banks that did it now we have seen since the videotape well we might i don't know why i've seen it because although i covered it initially it was just a case of right just let it die um apparently the videotape proves that he face banks didn't do it but there is a possibility that somebody else did it so and she because she knew there was the whole thing going on with the face banks and Alyssa and she might have done it to get back at Alyssa because Ali, Alyssa cheated on Jake with Logan and uh, all that now there was a few things that they didn't go into and there's a few things they did touch on the whole fact that whatever Logan does it comes back on Jake which is unfortunate but that's the way it works when you when you're family with somebody else on social media <coughs> it, that's unfortunately the way it works if you are in a relationship with or you are related to or whatever with a person on another person on social media they do something bad it automatically comes back and kicks you in the ass so yeah there's all that to do with um which jake says I, I wish they wouldn't do that but i can sort of understand where they're coming from because they're brothers so you would think that jake would say sometimes to logan that's not a good idea because with logan there's no line from that's one thing i have gathered um excuse me from the whole thing is where Logan's concerned there's no line there's no line in the sand that you don't cross um, unfortunately there are people out there that are like that they 
Now I understand why both of these factors weren't involved, but I wish they was. Um, they didn't go more into the... They kept alluding to something that had happened when Jake and Logan were kids and well, I understand the whole divorce thing. I am a product of a divorce. My parents started divorce proceedings when I was six months old. So I know all about divorce and I know how much of a nightmare it can be. Trust me. It's not something I'm completely, completely unaware of. But I do wish that had gone more into the, this thing that happened when he was younger that's affected him because it would be ideal for people to know that so that they can say well yeah I can kind of understand why he's done this this and this because at the minute a lot of us are just sat there thinking what's this thing they keep alluding to but they've not explained now I understand why they haven't because obviously Jake is Jake's family he doesn't want to hurt people he he doesn't want to cause distance in the family I understand that he doesn't want to cause friction in the family I understand that but I think in realistic terms it would be ideal for people to know what happened to know what went on because a lot of us are just sat here thinking what the fuck what you know what exactly has gone on to cause um, Jake to be the way he is now I've got a thousand ideas running around my head but I don't want to say any of them out loud because I could be wrong and it, it, could, it could cause issues for everybody but I do have my own opinions on what happened but we don't know. Now the other, the other thing is and it's something that a lot of people have been asking is why didn't they discuss the whole thing that's come out over the last couple of weeks about Jake's dad um, having because um, he was hacked and then his hackers found a sex tape with somebody that was underage and um, <coughs> that was never addressed but like I said that ha that's sort of come out in the last two or three weeks and most of this filming with the exception of the Alyssa thing was filmed a month like two months ago so I can kind of understand why that wasn't discussed and not all that, it's not really something you want to discuss with Jake, you want to discuss it with Greg, but Greg can apparently be a bit weird. You get what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, there are, there, are a lot, uh, there are some things that I am a bit perplexed at, and some of the times I don't think Jake was being completely honest. Although he said he was going to be, I think there were some times where he was holding back for fear of hurting his brother, for fear of hurting his parents, for fear of hurting Alyssa for even further or you know the the um, truth he has with Faye's banks and things like that. I can kind of understand why there were certain things he might have fudged the truth on I'm not 100% sure um, but there are a lot of a lot of questions around my head of if he was sleeping with people while him and Alyssa were together but not together, why would he care if she slept with his brother? Because he was sleeping with other people. So, I mean, she, she, she should have been able to sleep with other people. But, um, from what I gather, Jake thinks it was a relationship, but from what I gather off Alyssa it was a one time thing so and you just don't know what's the truth um, whether Jake's telling the truth or Alyssa's telling the truth or he's somewhere in the middle and a lot of the time a lot, particularly with younger people it's the whole thing of if I cause drama I get more attention although there are some people in the 30s on YouTube that do the same thing you know it's and he has said that he doesn't want to do that anymore and that he is going to back off from that which if he does, great, wonderful, terrific, great, perfect if he doesn't, we'll just have to wait and see time will tell and like I said, I enjoyed it it did help me see Jake in a, in a different way but I don't think Jake was being 100% authentic 
I don't think Jake was being 100% truthful in the matter. So, anyway, I'm going to do another video for you for Sunday, uh, which is sort of a bit of an announcement, but you'll see that tomorrow. And in that video, I'll explain why I am, yesterday's video I didn't go live, and I'll explain in that in a second, because I'm going to film it in a second. Fil fil film it in a second. And I can't edit that out because I've not got the right software, so yeah, well. So stay safe, be good, have fun, and I will see you soon.